We hope that the notice that these families will soon receive with respect to their utility bill will be a welcome holiday surprise. Additionally, we are always working to try to advance the number of tools that we have to slow the risk of the spread of this virus, particularly among vulnerable groups. And so one of the programs we have right now is responding to the need at the uh, criminal justice complex, the Bailey Justice Complex at 201 Poplar, and to make further remarks about our response at that location, I'd like to invite to the podium at this time the Sheriff of Shelby County, Floyd Bonner. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Mayor Harris, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Shelby County government is leading an effort to improve the air quality inside 201 Poplar Building and the jail confinement facilities. Mayor Harris and his team have contracted with a company that will install a system that, will, that should provide healthier environments for detainees as well as everyone else who works in or visits the courthouse or the detention facilities. Director Mike Deftrich of my staff will be working with county officials to install this system. How does this air purification system work? The county will install an, elect, excuse me, an electronic device that adds to the air ventilation system. We are told that it releases ions that travel through the air and attack and kill viruses, mold spurs, and bacteria. The ions then steal away the hydrogen from the pathogens, leaving them to die and leaving behind clean and healthier indoor air. A company named Global Plasma Solutions, headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina, has tested their product against the virus that causes COVID-19. And it says that its test results have shown that this product neutralization effectiveness was 99.4% in 30 minutes per test results. They tell us that the technology cleans the air the same way the air is cleaned outdoors in nature. The system generates the same ions that nature creates with lightning, waterfalls, and ocean waves. And with that being said, I will now uh, introduce up to the podium County Commissioner Chair, Mr. Eddie Jones. <laughs> 